Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. I don't know why I just started laughing. And welcome back. We are back, back, back again for another April Lynn Reed vlog. She posted this morning, finally. <laughs> I actually don't know how long it's been in between posts, but she really is getting like one or two posts out a week and we are back, back, back again. I already said that <laughs> to react to her latest little video situation type of deal on the heels of me covering all the things that she talked about in an Instagram Q and A. If you missed that, there will be, uh, it'll be recommended somewhere. Yesterday's video will be recommended so you can go check it out. And before we get into today's video, I want to thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is my favorite mobile game, June's Journey. Now, if you've watched my channel before, it's possible you've seen me play June's Journey before. I love to play it while I am just waiting for my favorite YouTubers to upload a new video while I'm trying to go to sleep at night. And you'll really enjoy it too if you're into a fun little like hidden object search situation type of deal. Specifically, the game offers very beautiful artistic graphic scenes where you have to try to find a bunch of different objects in order to complete complete the level. On top of that, you're also following along with a little murder mystery situation type of deal. Each new scene that you're searching for objects in lets you follow along the main character, June Parker, as she tries to figure out what the mystery is behind her sister's death. Along the way, she finds many other family secrets and it is quite the journey. On top of that, you also get to decorate a little island that features a mansion and you get to put other like little landscaping details in. So there really is a little something for everybody. Like I said, I really enjoy using June's Journey to fill up my free time when I'm waiting for people to post videos so I can react to them over here on YouTube. But also when I'm laying in bed at night trying to wind down at the end of a long day. If you're interested interested in trying out June's Journey, make sure to use the link in my description box or the QR code on the screen right now so you can download it for free. Thanks so much to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to, let's get to, shall we? So the video today we are going to react to is called How I Feel About My Exes Monthly Weight Update and Huge Trader Joe's Haul bar vlog. I do just want to say <laughs> the, the part in the title that's how I feel about my exes is so funny to me because just literally, okay, just literally in the video I covered her Instagram stories, one of the Instagram stories said, I'm so tired of everybody. Well, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Okay. I'll, I can put this actual screenshot up for you all. But it was like, I'm so tired of everybody bringing up back in destiny. Like truly all three of us have moved on. It's time for you all to move on to. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's uh, using her exes to get people to click on her videos, which honestly, I, I'm sure what she's actually going to end up doing is saying sort of the same in this video. She's probably going to say like, she's happy for Beck and Destiny, wishes them the best, it's time to move on, whoever, whatever. But also, that's my whole point that I was making in yesterday's video. She was talking about how she didn't know what to make videos about, or not even that she didn't know what to make videos about, but just that, like, she changed the way that she makes videos or something, allegedly. And I'm just like, why are we, why are we talking about all of that <laughs> in an Instagram story? And why not just put it into a video where you know people will click to hear what your thoughts are about your exes, about a potential new love interest, whoever, whatever. But truly, I did say all of that yesterday, so we don't need to go through all of that again. So let's just get to get to, shall we? Hey guys, Hi. Um, I, vlog. I know I have not been uploading lately. Mm -hmm. My bad. Mm -hmm. I'll do better. It's just like my bad. Past, especially when I've done like daily vlogging or daily uploading, uh -huh. I would just say and film any little thing. But uh -huh. I just like don't do that now. But y'all have been asking for more content, so I need to figure out like 
How am I gonna make more content for y'all? Because y'all want it, so I wanna give it to you guys. Anyways, I'm actually about to... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I feel like I went through so many different feelings and emotions <laughs> during that. Because, like, I really am willing to be, at this point, when it comes to Amber Lynn Reed, so flexible with her. <laughs> like, so for, like, unreasonably forgivable when it comes to her uploading schedule. Mostly because I think as a content creator myself, especially right now, maybe I'm soft right now because I know personally I'm also struggling to like wake up every day and make content. Uh, so maybe I'm just like super soft right now. Uh, but one, I'm trying to think of all the times that she did daily uploading, because that really wasn't ever a super consistent schedule for her. Not not once, not never. So that was really confusing to me for a second, because I was really like, when she was uploading every other day, like, that made a lot more sense to me. Like, that was actually her best schedule ever. She really had something going for her there. I don't know why she ever stopped that. But anyway, so after I got past my confusion about that, then she said the thing about, what was it? That she just, she just filmed any little old thing? <laughs> Girl, what? Girl, what? I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess you really were filming anything, but not really. You were just filming the most mundane shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, I'll take. I'll take. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Like, I'm here for s some boring shit. Sometimes I'd much rather talk about whatever Amber Lynn's boring shit is that she has going on than, like, I don't know, problems I'm facing in my actual life, world problems, whatever it is Chantal Marie is doing over on the Foodie Beauty channel. Like, sometimes I will always take just, like, a mundane... Uh, Amberlynn show me her Legos video. I mean, I would love new stuff. I really would. And then all of this also just goes back to, she's like, I don't know what to film. And I'm like, girl, at this point, most of your content has been what I eat in a day anyways. Like, just start showing me what you eat in a day. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I could probably come up with 1,200 ideas. And people have been giving her ideas. And I know, like, sometimes I don't want unsolicited advice about what to, to make content about. But but let's let's try something. I'm down for anything, Amberlynn. I'll watch whatever you put out. I promise. I think. Well, I didn't watch that one video about her taking, I think, Twinkie to the vet. But that's a different story. Anyways, shut the fuck up, Zach. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Do my hair and do my makeup. Okay, hi. Okay, I hi. Am ready, and I just filmed a couple <gasps> TikToks. I kind of love, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this and what shows up on my video, but I do kind of love, she did the diamonds, the little face diamonds, to make it look like she has an ear piercing. That's kind of cute. I'm trying to do like daily Q and A's on Instagram. As oh, well, we know, just girl. To, like, correspond more with my audience, and plus, you guys always have so many questions, and I don't mind answering them. But okay, the here, here's uh, sorry. I know I've paused so much. We're 43 seconds into the video. But it's annoying that she's like, I'm trying to do these Q and A's to correspond more with my audience when like her main audience is right here on YouTube. Correspond with us on YouTube. Do that challenge. Also, she's like, I'm trying to correspond with you all more, but then answers like the same question she's been answering for, for the entirety of her time on the internet. By the way, I took my nails off because one fell off, uh -huh. and that is the first time that's happened. Since I feel I you. Them. Started getting them done months ago, but it just like came off, and my brain said, "I'm not fixing to have nine nails." I feel you. Missing. I so feel you. I just took them all off. <laughs> my nails are currently a mess. They they started becoming a mess sometime early this week, <laughs> but. God bless. I goddess bless. I have a nail appointment tomorrow. <laughs> we're get we're getting these because there are. Uh, it's a mess. No, I can't even believe I'm showing you. But I feel you. I had one that like started coming up and chipping and stuff, and I'm like, I can't do that. So then this hand turned into to nothing, and then they were all too long, so I trimmed them, and then on this hand, just the thumb came off. But then all, all four of these fingers are still there, and they'll probably all make it until tomorrow, I think. Unless, I don't know, this one kind of looks like it's about to come off, actually. It does. It, it's looking, 
It's looking a little loose. I should not fuck with it. <laughs> I should not fuck with it. Old Veronica's gonna get me together tomorrow. That's that's the the woman that does my nails or has been doing my nails the past few times. I'm I need her. <laughs> I need her help. I'm not sure when I'm getting them done again, but I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. Actually, Work. I'm debating between two colors. I can't decide. Oh my god. Went to Trader Joe's. Let's so go. When I get home. I okay, do guys, love so a, I a Trader Joe. I went to Trader Joe's. Let's see. So we definitely have some hauling to do. So this is. The I really, I really am curious if she's gonna prove how much of a vegetable girly she is here. But then I remember that like the appeal of Trader Joe's to me personally is like I'm going there for like the niche, fun, processed foods. If we're being honest, <laughs> like, like give me what I haven't even been to Trader Joe's in a while, so I don't even know what kind of fun things they have there anymore. They used to have these honey butter potato chips that were so good, and we found out that they were like a limited time seasonal item. They never came back. They got these dark chocolate covered sea salt almonds that are so good that I love to get. What are some other things? I mean, that's really all that's coming to my mind right now. So it's been a while since I've been to TJ's. And I really want to hope she shows us some vegetables, because she's a vegetable girly, if you recall. But the reality is, is the, the good stuff about Trader Joe's is, like, the processed, fun, seasonal stuff. So we'll see. Like a grocery haul moment. It was actually okay. the first time that I have been in Trader Joe's here in Oklahoma, and I loved it. It was okay. like the cutest little spot. Big Work. Big was giving such good vibes. So let's start Stunning. with the first bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs in the morning. Uh -huh. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every oh. Time I, in Trader Joe's haul, I beat you. I beat you to it, girl. I, be I beat you to it. I thought she was going to say, before anybody says anything, yes, I I have an egg intolerance, not an allergy. But she said, before anybody says anything, yeah, I got a lot of processed food. Okay. I mean, I wasn't trying to actually say anything bad about getting processed food. I was just saying, like, I feel like we might not see vegetables, you know? Always say that, and I'm just like... Yeah, um, I don't go there often, but when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing Work. weight, and that's all that matters. True. Sure. I got these snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, Ooh. mini pencil nuggets, Wait. and milk chocolate. So. Oh, my fat ass wants that. Oh, my fat ass wants that. I wish you would have left it up on the screen longer. I would like potato to chips, be able to look. Corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets, Mix in. Okay, wait, okay. Corn chip dippers, so basically Fritos, some pretzel nuggets, and then I don't remember what that thing is, but they're all covered in chocolate. Uh, oh, the, that's just like a, the third one's just a regular potato chip. Fuck me up. My, my fat ass needs that so bad. <laughs> my fat ass. Actually, my fat ass doesn't need that. Let's be very honest. And milk chocolate, so... Excited to try that. I got Ooh. some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings. Okay. And rice snacks. Work. Okay, Funyuns. Okay, this is... I was expecting her mm, to get... There are, like, processed, like, things you can get from TJ's that aren't just, like, full-on snacks. But work. She's counting calories. She's got this. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic and jalapeno. I need okay. some soy sauce. So I hope I like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce, which well, is totally fine. Well, yeah, yeah, girl. Have you been to a Trader Joe's? <laughs> I mean, I know she said this was the first time she went to one in Oklahoma, but like Trader Joe's doesn't just have regular brands. It's all Trader Joe's branded stuff for the most part. And then I really wanted like a pasta sauce, which they didn't have what I normally have because Trader Joe's doesn't have stuff like that. Yeah. It's a pasta sauce that I have been having. Me not. I decided I'm. <laughs> Her, her, like, surprise that Trader Joe's didn't have the stuff that she thought it would have. I'm just like, yeah, that's not how Trader Joe's works. I'm trying something different. This is a spicy pasta sauce. 
So excited to try it. Let's that. go. All right, on to the second bag. I got some of their mashed potatoes, which I love. Okay. I got two things of vegetable panning curry with jasmine rice. Work. So that sounds these. good. I love literally everything that I got. Honestly, um, I've never had this, which I'm sure I will love it. Cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong, so come for me, huh? come for me. Or I don't know how to say it either, actually, bestie. Fiocchetti all the way. <laughs> say it however. Happy. Um, I also got some Brussels sprouts. There's some I shaved got two Brussels. Of this spicy jalapeno. Oh wait, sauce. was that? I mean, she's had a few. I should. I should have been paying much closer attention. So she's got Brussels sprouts. She's a. She's a uh, vegetable girly in that way. And she got this vet. Well, that the not the pasta, but the the vegetable curry meals. And I guess she would count mashed potatoes as a vegetable. That's our. A lot of you pointed out that she said that. Mashed potatoes are her favorite vegetable when she, or not mashed potatoes, but potatoes in general. And she like literally like choked on one and shat herself and, and claimed she almost died. So um, I love that she's still able to consume potatoes because honestly, a world where people can't consume potatoes is a sad world indeed. All right, mm, chicken sausage. Let's fucking go. I got a bag of the chicken gyoza postickers. Mm. Love. I mm, the chicken gyoza. I love that she was concerned about how she was pronou <laughs> pronouncing whatever that pasta shape was, but then just like said gyoza with her whole fucking chest. Let's go. Mm. Chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I have had it from like uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there, so I'm sure. going to try it. I got some. Peppered salami. Yum. Salami can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have it under control. And if I don't, I know cool. to just never buy these again. Cool, so, cool, cool. Yeah. I also am triggered by salami. <laughs> that was so insensitive. I don't know. I, I was thinking about like salami, like. <laughs> I'm actually not triggered by that salami at all. What whatsoever. I'm feeling like a kind of goofy girl. If you if you uh, watched my video yesterday, I was watching parts of it back and I was like, Zach, you look like you're physically in so much pain, and it's cause I really was. And um thankfully I think physical therapy yesterday helped relieve a lot of that pain, and today I'm not in that pain. And I went to physical therapy again today. <laughs> So I think I'm just feeling good right now. <laughs> I'm feeling free to just laugh and giggle again. Oh my god. And then also got some ground tea. Okay. Alright, so the final bag here. We're we're down to the final bag. And so far she's bought one thing that was just like truly vegetables, which was the Brussels sprouts, and then the two frozen vegetable curry meals. So our vegetable girly is is doing great. It's doing great. Unless I miss something. I'm sure y'all will let me know if I missed another vegetable. I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt and vinegar, and chili with spicy green peas. Okay. I just really love stuff like this. So that's probably yum. good. And then I got some of these mochi rice nuggets. Mm. And these are spicy. I'm excited I don't, to try I'm not really a mochi girl, to be honest with you. I, and I don't really also know what a mochi rice nugget is. I just got some <gasps> broccoli. Okay. Here, some three veggies. Tamales. I like making these in the air fryer. It's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Ooh. Thai vegetable gyoza. Y'all, you guys remember? I love, I, we just got a, a, a what's the word? <laughs> An air fryer. In fact, on my uh, Twitch re-upload channel, Zachary Michael, also I reacted to some air fryer recipes because I'm trying to get inspired. But I kind of forget you could just get all of these little frozen things and heat them up in the air fryer. Oh, let's go. I need, I need to go to TJ's. Maybe I'll tell Noel we should do that this weekend. Like, let's go to TJ's and just get some fun frozen foods so we can make them in our air fryer. Then you know. Did that make sense? I got two of these mac and cheese. Okay, which I really like. Love a mac and, and cheese. And then I got some of these salami sticks. Girl. I got Girl. three packs of them, which is six of them. Girl said, I'm triggered by salami, but I'm gonna get slices of salami and sticks. 
Um, this is what it looks like. I was like, okay, I want to try those. I got some of these tricky meatballs. Work. You guys know, then you know. We know. I phase where I was obsessed with those as well. I know. And the last thing I got are these buffalo style chicken poppers. So now I I'm so them. grateful our vegetable girly who loves vegetables so much really prioritized vegetables <laughs> in our grocery haul. Honestly, truly, girly pop can eat whatever she wants. Y'all know that's how I feel. I'm literally only pointing this out because she made such a big deal about being a vegetable girly in her last video. <laughs> And I'm just like, yeah, you sure are. You sure are. Not to say that people who enjoy vegetables only buy vegetables, but like to only get a bag of one bag of broccoli, one bag of Brussels sprouts, and then two frozen meals that are, are like vegetable curries. Yeah. It's just funny to me. It's just funny. It's just a funny concept, a funny idea everything away so i'm gonna go do that okay you guys so real quickly i'm gonna do a monthly update on how much weight i lost in march because i did it in january uh -huh. where i lost seven pounds i did it in february where i lost 9.2 pounds Work. and now march how much did i lose so i actually weighed in today at 489.6 so that means in the month of march i lost exactly 10 pounds which oh very, very come proud. on diva i'm losing more and more weight each month so it'd be cool if in April I lose 10.2 <laughs> or more than that. So that could be like a little challenge. Let's hope that I even remember that I said that. But I, I continue to be obsessed with our numbers, girly, caring about 0.2 of a pound. Let's fucking go. I'm just very proud of myself. Like, I... <laughs> doing the damn thing you, i'm not stressing you are. Out too hard about it and i think with the lack of like stressing about it because normally like if i'm counting calories i want to be like perfect and i want to eat the right things uh -huh. realistically like it's not gonna happen like you guys saw my haul today as long as i stay below I, I my did. calories right now that is all that i am focused on and i know eventually down the road i'm uh -huh. gonna have to start eating healthier and switching things up that way. But right now, what I'm doing is working for me, and I'm just really happy about it. It's it's working for you right now until it isn't, and then you decide to switch to something else, even though it's working for you, or has been mostly working for you. That, like, was my, my thing with, like, why did you switch it up from intuitive eating if that was working for you so well? And I'm also so confused because her, her Instagram response when somebody asked her that was essentially like, oh, I wasn't getting as good of results as I wanted with intuitive eating. But she just shared that, like, I mean, she's been actually, honestly, as long as she's being honest, which I know a lot of you don't think that she is, but as long as she's being honest, like, she actually has had pretty consistent results regardless of intuitive eating or counting calories. So, I don't know. It's all just very... Very intriguing to me how Amberlynn's mind works. It should be studied. Okay, guys, so I did take off my shirt. <laughs> Don't mind that. Ooh. So I opened these. I was about to try them. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do it for the vlog. Let's do a taste test. What the heck is this for real, for real? Mochi rice nuggets. I don't know. They look like that. Okay. They're supposed to be crispy, crunchy, and spicy. But let's try it. Oh, I just looked um, in the camera. And a lot of people have been asking me lately how long it took me to actually get this in the mail. And I think they're asking me because they're trying to catch they are. Chantel in a lie. They are. The <laughs> they, they, you know what? They really they really probably are trying to, to catch Chantel in a lie. Because a lot of people ask me um, the same question about my plaque that's right there. Uh, and honestly, truly, I don't know if things... The, the thing is, is that I got mine a few years ago at this point. So it's very possible that the way they do things has changed. It wouldn't really be super helpful, I think, comparing our situations. The other part about mine in particular is that I think I hit 100,000 uh, subscribers in 2020, like the summer of 2020 at some point. And if you know anything about me and the, the lore of my channel is that I took like a... Uh, mm, four to six month break. I don't know how long it actually was uh, from covering any kind of like Chantal or Amberlynn content for a while after Amberlynn announced that she had cancer. And I, in that break, my, <laughs> my numbers, my subscribers fluctuated in terms of like going up and above and 
all around 100,000, okay? And so I waited also a while before I even, you know, requested the plaque or anything like that because I didn't want to look silly, get the plaque, and go below 100,000 subscribers. Um, and people were unsubscribing because they were upset that I wasn't covering them anymore. I did keep posting. I got other subscribers. I mean, now I'm at like 150,000 something, so obviously we're doing okay over here. But yeah, I it's interesting because so many people want to try to catch Chantal in a line. I honestly, I mean, I don't have any idea how it works these days. I really don't. And I don't know if Chantal got a bunch of her subscribers purchased or whatever. Lots of people were asking me and I was very invested for a while. But now I just like, I, I'm currently in the middle of not giving a shit about Chantal. Although I am mildly intrigued because she's back in Canada. And that is like the last time she was in Canada is when it came out that Sala wanted to poop all over some people. So, so you know, it, it, is, it is a little bit intriguing, but for now I'm good. For now I'm good. Anyway, sorry. Tangent, what do you have to say about it, Amber? She also received hers. So to answer that question, I'll just post uh, when I opened it. So here it is. Hey, you guys. How is this so helpful to me? A lot of people me? have been asking me about this, and I finally got it. I'm kind of like... I don't know. I'm really shocked. I never imagined I do remember this. that I would ever reach this point, but I did. She so also I'm looks wildly different here. Show you guys what I just got. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, it's from YouTube. Woo it says, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. I... Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel I don't feel like all of this is necessary to answer the question, which was just how long did it take for them to send it to you? <laughs> like, this is not answering my question. Well, it wasn't my question. This is not answering the viewer's question. Has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You guys, <laughs> I'm so entertaining. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and, and make you money. Find an audience who cares. Me too. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oh my God. I literally am shook it. It's shook it. Sorry, I'm in awe. Presented to Amberlynn Reed for passing 100,000 subscribers. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember the day that I hit it. Some of were like, are you gonna get the, I don't know if I wanna take it out, to be honest. That is literally written on here. But yeah, a lot of people were like, are you gonna get the um, silver thingy majigger? And I was just like, probably not. The you silver to, like, thingy majigger. I, just, I didn't think I deserved it, but then I was like, girl, how? 100,000 subscribers how, is a lot. So, how the fuck is this answering the question? Amber Lynn! What? I requested it and it came within like a week. Oh, there. Thank so, God. Wow. The way, the way she could have just said that to fucking begin with. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I know that my YouTube journey has been quite insane, as we all know. But I still have so many people who support me and message me and say kind things to me and like Girl, I don't, are I, there for me. Great. And I appreciate that. Wonderful. And I literally would not still be doing YouTube. Let's wrap it up. If it wasn't for you guys. So I just want to say thank wrap you. Wrap it up. So yeah, that was years ago. I remember getting this and I was so happy. Like it was just emotional. I just thank you guys so much. And now I have like 220k. Like she what you does. Guys doing? These are amazing. Okay. Well, let's try these though. Let's go. I'm a little nervous. I'm actually so kind of nervous. Seasoning. Spicy seasoning. They're crispy and crunchy. <laughs> so so far that's correct. <laughs> I love when I love when she tells me something about a snack that I could have just read on the fucking packaging. Thank you so much. I don't think I like it. I do like the texture. No, she doesn't. She do You don't like it. Mm hmm You don't. I love crunchy. So I feel like for some people, this would be spicy. There's a spice to it, but it just doesn't taste that great. So that was kind of a flop. They mm -hmm. did have ones that were You're spicy. used to that, so huh? Next time I go to those, I'm going to try those. You guys, I have had an absolute influx 
of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend. One An absolute influx of people contacting you about it, but also you were answering questions about them on Instagram and also opening up your Instagram to answer questions about whatever anybody wanted to ask about. So honestly, truly, what did you expect? Your girlfriends or your previous girlfriends? What is that noise you're making, Poe? Are you okay? I don't know. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Maybe I just imagined it. I looked down and he's just laying there. <laughs> he looks very much okay. I don't know what I thought I heard. Anyways, her ex-girlfriends are like the most interesting thing about her in some ways. So, of course, people are going to be fascinated with that or want to ask questions about that. Because what else are we doing over here today? <laughs> One is married. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also assuming I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. People, I want both people are assuming you're single, by the way, because up until those Instagram Q&As, you never said you were in a relationship with this Valentine girly, okay? You, you described her as a crush in the past. You described her as just a really good friend. In the past, you described her as somebody who bought you a fucking Lego set in the past, but you never said, I'm in a relationship with this person them to be happy. I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had and they definitely have and I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life though. I very uh -huh. much do. I have okay. talked about Valentine a little bit. Uh -huh. I just want to do things a little bit differently this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat like hi you know no. you. love and trust like i have talked about her Re respectfully i listen while i would love for you to approach your relationship in a different way i don't really feel like you have what you've approached differently is the way that you've chosen not to talk about your relationship with us i'm not i mean maybe you have approached your relationship differently uh, I, I don't mind hearing about it, though. <laughs> I do want to just be clear. and Maybe y'all will agree or disagree with me. I would, at this point, I'm happy to hear about it. Tell us all about her. Let me know everything I need to know about her. I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, I'm ready. Hello, it's ready. We're ready. All right? I don't need your talking scale to let you know that we're ready because I'm, I'm, I'm the talking scale now. We're ready. <laughs> Tell us about her. It was before my ex got a girlfriend. It was before my ex got married. Because I'm over there on Instagram like, yeah, I do have, you know, a little love life going. And yes, I am actively in love right now. And the reason why I'm not talking about that in my videos and like bombarding you guys with that is because I do want to do things differently because so much in the past, I've just like word vomited mm. all my relationship stuff. And like with Feline, I very much learned how to be more like private. And I'm not saying that this relationship is gonna stay private. It's just mm -hmm. very much, I wanna just like give you guys a little bit at a time because sure. I'm still figuring out my stuff. Like this is still new for me. Sure. I just know that I'm very happy and I'm also happy for my exes. I'm not some like jealous, bitter, crazy ex. Like it's to some extent, let me, let me add some chapstick for this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. To some, <laughs> ooh, I didn't mean to do the little pop. To some extent, I do think it's growth for her to be like, I don't need to tell you everything about the relationship I'm in. I can take this slowly. I've learned from previous relationships. I've learned a lot, actually, from being with Feline. Stunning, wonderful. What I think then is does make me actually think that you do feel some type of way about your exes being in some type of relationship is that the second people brought it up to you and the second that people people thought that you might be jealous this that the other you had to tell us you had to let us know you said even though i've been sitting on this because i've learned and i've grown and i realized i don't have to tell you every single thing about my love life my relationship status this that the other you said Oh, y'all think I'm bitter. How could I be bitter when I, I'm madly in love with the woman of my dreams? Take that, haters. Like, girl, please be serious. <laughs> please, please. Like, I do agree you have talked about her prior, but the, the second that there was an opportunity to let people know you're not a, a jealous hater of your exes and that you're good and that Fingerlin is doing well, 
you, you let us know, okay? <laughs> and I think that the the timing is what people, you know, have questions about. And I think it makes sense that, that there are questions about the timing of you sharing that. It's literally not who I am. I know a lot of people like to assume that they know me and who I am and how I feel and how I react to things. But like, y'all aren't right. <laughs> and I don't mean that like in a negative way. But yeah, like we're all thriving in our own way. And I think that like, y'all, I've moved on. I just, I want you guys to I, do the same. We are I've moved on, but I'm still answering questions about my exes and I'm still talking about them in the titles of my videos. But please, y'all, please move on. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, like, honestly, she can talk about it as much or as little as she wants to. It's really whatever. I just, it's just so funny um, that she's acting like she, you know, how, I can't believe so many people are contacting me about this, but I did just put up, like, four days in a row of Q&As on Instagram for people to ask me whatever they wanted. So, surprise, I'm so surprised people asked me about it. We're all our own separate individuals living our own separate lives and I just really truly think it's time just let me be me and I no longer want to be like mm -hmm. Destiny's ex or Becky's ex like I'm just mm -hmm. not wanting that like, yeah I don't I think the internet's at, gonna let so that happen space in my life different era just who I am as a person is just so different I feel no, like I've lived not to be not to be too much of a conspiracy theorist because I don't even watch outside of the the one uh, the one the two videos from Mr. Snowflake about Casey I don't even really watch his content like that like he's great but y'all know my my philosophy is like just don't watch a lot of content about Amberlynn outside of the content I make because watching her on my own once is enough um but here's my conspiracy theory. <laughs> and then I'll clock out from, I'll take my tinfoil hat off and I'll move on. But do y'all think it's possible that she's trying to distance herself from, from her exes because... <laughs> I'm giving Mr. Snowflake maybe too much credit. I don't know. You let me know. But because he's still continuing to work on this, this series that covers all the things that she's done to all of her exes. I think he has put out the crystal one, yeah? Or has he gotten there yet? I think he did. I don't know. Uh, is it possible? <laughs> not me, not me adding fuel to the fire for the conspiracy theorists, but here we are. The thought did just cross my mind. Like, hmm. Multiple lifetimes, especially here on YouTube. Like, go look. I just, I have transformed constantly and I just feel like I'm at my most mm. like independent happy well her Saturn self, did just and return I'm enjoying learning more about myself like there are things that I definitely need to improve on though like don't get me wrong like oh, I really need to see a girl I know my borderline personality disorder girl I know lie, you guys I thought I was better in that regard like it's not something that like you can just like heal from exactly you know it takes years and years and right. years of like therapy but i thought that i saw improvement in myself and like a situation happened recently where i'm just like whoa girly pop needs to go to therapy and that's something i can definitely like admit out loud is like i need help and i personally have never gone to therapy for a borderline personality disorder i recently went to therapy and i had like over <laughs> 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. It uh -huh. helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder, like as a whole. All right. And well, let's let's stop talking about it and let's do it. How about that? I also, it just did also dawn on me. These are all things that she literally talked about in, in those Instagram Q and A's. Like the exes, the needing to go to therapy. <laughs> All of it. I'm sure also she got questions about the, the YouTube plaque and that as well. I don't think I saw her answer that on Instagram, but I'm sure she did. This is all inspired by the Instagram Q&As. need to find a therapist who specializes in that. And I am a little nervous. Let's do it. Lie. Let's okay, go. Okay, so I'm totally just rambling right now. Uh-huh. But yeah, I'm, you guys, I have my own life over here not sharing everything uh -huh. one day, I will. But like, I just want to take things slow okay. and just do things different. But just know that I am happy and I'm also happy for my exes. Like, I am capable of feeling that way as much okay. as some people don't believe it. 
But I do want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy right. it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye, Amberlynn. Have a great day. Well, that was kind of a fun, goofy, silly time. <laughs> I hope y'all had a fun, goofy, silly time, too. Um, I definitely am in more positive spirits than I was yesterday. I don't know. Maybe I should have really done a, more of a temperature check on how I was feeling, a vibe check on how I was feeling yesterday, but... I really did just want to get back on here. So thanks, everybody, for continuing to be so thoughtful and nice and kind to me. Um, Y'all are really iconic. Thank you so much for being awesome and showing up whenever I show up. I love y'all so much, and I appreciate it. So please uh, keep coming back. I also just want to say thank you once again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in trying out June's Journey, you can click on the link in the description box to download it or use the QR code that's on the screen right now. That's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment and hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!